And I just want to let you know that Thanksgiving is about the effeminization of the black man, while it also simultaneously attacks women in general. Now, I know you may be saying, what? Here we go with the pro-black crazy talk. But I'm going to break it down to you. Thanksgiving is about the feminization of the black man. Now, it's, and now in its inception, historically, we know it's about the massive repression of the Native Americans. But I'm not the type to make every, black eyes everything, but let's just keep it 100. The Native Americans of old look like me. And if you do any type of research, you look for empirical data. So when you're looking for empirical data, one of the sources that you can look up is coinage. You could tell a lot about a people, or about the history of a group of people, if you look at their coinage, their currency. So if you look at old American currency, what you'll find is that they have Native Americans on their coins, and they make reverence to Old York or Ben York, okay? These are your original dark-skinned Native Americans, people that's native to this land. You also have coinage that has Sacagawea on it, Sacagawea. A dark-skinned black woman who's a Native American. But understand that there was black people here in America before we were transported here. Before we were kidnapped from Africa, there was already black people here. If you look at, if you go into history at around 459 AD, <clears throat> the Olmecs walked over here. I'll say it again. In 459 AD, the Olmecs walked over here with rubber... <clears throat> wow. I say it again because the children are off the hook. They're going crazy. In 459 A.D., the Olmecs walked over here from Africa to California. Later mixed up with the Native Americans, northernmost of America, which would be uh, Eskimos. And then eventually they start breeding or creating subgroups that, that many people like calling Taino Native Americans and so forth and so on. But anyway... The point in case is black people already existed here in America prior. So the people that were native to America, the Native Americans look like us. So don't make them make a distinction amongst the slaves that were kidnapped and brought here and the Native Americans that were massively repressed and murdered during Thanksgiving. We're still talking about relatively the same group of people based on haplotype. OK, we're still talking about people that have genetic origins from Africa. But let's go to it. <clears throat> let's go to it. I'm giving you dates and times, but let's get into the health. If that's too black for you, let's get into the health. Thanksgiving of old, we'll discuss on another day. But Thanksgiving today is about the feminization of the black man. The first thing we need to know is this. What qualifies a woman as a woman? What qualifies a man as a man? And I don't want to hear all that goofy modern day talk. Uh, Identify uh, <clears throat> day. Yeah, we're not we're not not playing around with the pronouns. We're playing around with the science. We're gonna we're gonna work with the science. Scientifically, <clears throat> let's let's qualify a man. Let's qualify a man based on the science. One of the things you can do to qualify what makes a man a man scientifically is his testosterone level. T testosterone are hormones. Hormones give you instructions. So let's do it like that. Testosterone is a hormone. And when you think of hormones, think of instructions. So the pancreas produces insulin. When the body has a problem <clears throat> producing insulin... What happens? It's called diabetes, right? So diabetes is a hormonal disorder. That's what they should say. Because insulin is a hormone. And if hormones give instructions, what instructions does insulin give? Insulin gives instructions for the cells to open up their walls to allow blood sugar in the form of glucose to go inside of the cells so the cells can metabolize. So insulin gives instructions for the cell when it's released into the blood for cells to open up their walls so blood sugar in the form of glucose could go inside of the cells so the cells can metabolize. Be active to fulfill their mission. When that doesn't happen and the cells don't open up their walls, then the blood sugar is suspended in the blood. The glucose is in the blood. And as much as you need glucose, you don't need it in the blood because if it stays in the blood, it destroys your nerves. So if the cells can't 
get the instructions from the insulin, the hormone, to tell it to open up its walls to allow blood sugar in the form of glucose to go inside of the cell. Then the blood sugar is suspended in the blood, and sugar in the blood causes the nerves to be destroyed. And in turn, that's why a lot of diabetics have to get their foot cut off first. Why? Because they can get cut and not even feel it because it's too much sugar in the blood. So a lot of times the sugar has to be allocated into fat called adipose. And then it's stored by the, the back of the abdomen called the visceral area. But anyway, we can talk about that another time. Let's get back into the effeminization of the black man. One of the things we want to do is qualify scientifically what is something that we can confirm makes a man a man. Well, you have testosterone levels. Originally, the standard for, of health for men's testosterone, you were considered to have, at a standard, you needed to have at least a 500 NG over DL testosterone level. Of course, school don't teach you this. So men are supposed to have, based on the old standard, they lowered the standard now to 350. Because every year, men's testosterone level goes down 1%. So that means every 10 years, testosterone levels go down 10%. I hope you're walking with me. Every 10 years, men's testosterone levels goes down 10%. And that is by design. That is by design. You walking with me? So now, now that we know the old standard for male's testosterone levels was supposed to be at around 500 NG over DL. And now today, they're accepting 350 NG over DL as the standard. But we understand that back in the days, if you had under 500 NG over DL testosterone level, you would have to get hormonal therapy so they can work you back up. Yeah, I mean, tell me if it, if it looks good on your, your phone. Yeah, so let's get that right. Now, since we know hormones are instructions, what are the instructions that the testosterone levels, that testosterone gives you? Testosterone tells you, hey, grow your hair a certain way as a male. You may say that's light, cool, but these are just different features and characteristics. It also determines the muscularity of your body. So we notice that the male definition in terms of muscles is very different when it comes to females. It also gives instructions for your voice to have more bass in it. Also gives you instructions to be more aggressive. These are the things that make a man a man. Not limited to, but these are some of the things that testosterone gives you instructions. You lose the bass in your voice, less muscularity. Like when you have a diet filled in estrogen, guess what happens? You grow titties. That's what happens to the men. When you see men have a high in estrogen diet, they don't just get fat. They grow breasts, so to speak. The pectoral area looks like breasts. Because they have way too much estrogen. We're talking about the feminization of the black man by way of Thanksgiving. So let's look. Let's look at everything they put on the table. Let's look at the five cheese macaroni and cheese. Five cheeses, right? Any one of the five cheeses. They ain't just give you one cheese. These niggas give you five different cheeses. Again, they don't just give you one cheese. They give you five different cheeses. So no matter what cheese you pick, but you got five the cheese is high in estrogen. And then, of course, you need the milk to make the mac and cheese, right? And then you got eggnog and all that, right? High in estrogen. And then the water that you're using has, is not BPA-free. Bisphenol A, which is a synthetic, synthetic form of the hormone estrogen. Estrogen gives you female instructions. Feminine instructions. Doesn't mean men don't have estrogen levels. They need some. Doesn't mean women don't need some testosterone levels. They actually need some to produce. It's true, but at a minuscule amount. So when we look at the five cheese, mac and cheese, eggnog and milk and all that, we see a lot of estrogen. Oh, guess what? The turkey is full of estrogen as well. 
It's like, okay, so the water, the five cheese mac and cheese, the eggnog, the milk, and the turkey's full of estrogen. Even your cranberry sauce, especially coming out of the can, which you'll suffer from metal toxicity in addition to the estrogen that's inside of that. So what we see is, what are some foods that will promote levels of testosterone? Pomegranate, but you don't get that. You get cranberry in place of pomegranate. Dark green leafy vegetables. How much dark green leafy vegetables are actually on the table during Thanksgiving? You see what I'm saying? And then you're eating this red meat, and there's no really no such thing as red meat. They use carbon monoxide. They pump the red meat. They pump your meat with carbon monoxide so it can have a red hue because it's more appealing. Because when meat oxidizes, it generally turns brown or gray. And brown meat or gray meat, pause, isn't as appealing as red meat. So if you have meat with a hue that's red, it makes you feel like it's healthy. But then now you could be buying some red meat not knowing it should look like it's spoiled, but they put so much carbon monoxide in it, you think, oh, if it's red or a bright red hue, it must be really good. So carbon monoxide is poisonous. They pump your red meat with carbon monoxide to give you the impression that the food is healthy because when meat oxidizes, it actually should be brown or gray. But if you had to choose between brown, gray, or red in terms of your meat, you obviously would purchase the red meat and think something's wrong with the brown or gray meat. This is a fact. And so the meat that you're cooking, as well as the turkey and the ham, because most likely it's smoked, and if it's smoked, it's filled with sodium nitrate. And if it's filled with sodium nitrate, then that means what? That means that it's carcinogenic, which means it's cancerous. And if you cook meat, guess what happens if you cook meat? Meat is filled with heme iron. Not the iron that you find in dark green leafy vegetables called iron fluorine. Meat is filled with heme iron. So heme iron, whenever you cook something that has heme iron in it, it's carcinogenic, meaning the more you the more you cook your meat, <clears throat> pause, the more you cook your meat, the more cancerous it becomes. And that's why that's why they have things called medium rare or rare, because it's actually healthier to eat the meat less cooked than it is to eat it more cooked, which which is a conundrum, because if you eat raw meat, you ain't really winning. So. But your meat is less cancerous if you cook it with a slight singe. <clears throat> and that's why, it suge- that's, that's why it's suggested that you eat meat medium rare or rare or with a little blood there. Because the more you cook meat, the more cancerous it becomes, the better you cook it. <laughs> but here's the catch 22. Eating meat is cancerous in general. It's just more cancerous the more you cook it. <clears throat> you feel what I'm saying? So anyway, <clears throat> we look at the table. And when we look at the table... Damn, I should have showed them the food. The black rice and all that. But when you, when you look at the table, the table is filled with estrogen-rich foods. And when your diet is filled with estrogen, the men will grow breasts. You're not just going to gain weight. Your body's going to get female instructions. So one of the female instructions you're going to get as a man is to grow breasts. You're going to be more submissive, more passive, overly emotional. Now, people may say being overly emotional is exclusive to females. No, we're not saying that. We're saying that you're going to vibrate. Well, let me not get too metaphysical on people. Let me keep it completely on the surface meaning of science so nobody thinks I'm reaching. So let's say it like this. There's nothing wrong with a female exhibiting female emotions. There's something wrong with a male exhibiting female emotions uncontrollably. There's a divine masculine and there's a divine feminine principle. So both parties can access both. But it has to be in fair ratio. It can't be disproportionate. So when I'm looking at the Thanksgiving table, I see a turkey filled with estrogen. I see the cranberry sauce filled with estrogen. I see the five cheeses, five different ways in one, 
five cheese mac and cheese filled with estrogen. I see the milk filled with estrogen. I see the eggnog filled with estrogen. So all I see on the table is the effeminization of the black man. I see a bunch of female instructions being pumped into the male's body. I look at your water and I see it's not BPA free. It's, it has bisphenol A in it, which is a synthetic form of estrogen. So it's a synthetic form of estrogen, meaning when it goes into the body, the body thinks it's estrogen. So it follows the instructions of the estrogen, which are female instructions. Estrogen is female instructions. Estrogen is female instructions and testosterone is male instructions. Again, some of the instructions that testosterone gives you is to have a deeper voice, to have enhanced muscularity, to be more aggressive, less passive. These are instructions that males get as the male gender to grow more hair on their bodies. These are instructions that males get. To be attracted to females. These are instructions that testosterone gives you. And now on the flip end, what happens to the women eating or consuming all this estrogen at the Thanksgiving table? It'll breed or give birth to fibroids. And what's the cure of fibroids? What's the cure to fibroids in a white man's society? Strip the woman of her womb. That's the cure. Take the womb out of there. That's how they cure fibroids. Strip the woman of her divine feminine essence. Real talk. See, look at this Negro said, this is the nigga that nobody drinks with. Actually, this is a nigga that makes drinks on the house for over 15 people throughout the week. I just happen to drink wine that's high in flavonoids. Very good for the heart. And it's fermented at that. So it's really grape juice. Not the bullshit that you eating during Thanksgiving that's dark grape. You niggas should be afraid of yourselves. Not ashamed. Afraid. When the hell did you ever crush grapes and it looked dark grape like the Welch's juice? Nigga, there's nothing. There ain't a grape on planet Earth that's going to look dark purple like that grape Welch's drink. And it, nobody suspected a thing. Nobody felt uncomfortable. Go ahead and blend you or juice you some grapes and tell I, and, and juice them until you fucking pass out. You'll never see grape juice look like the Welch's grape juice. You do realize this. You've been living a lie for many years. You never questioned any of the food you was eating for many years. You've been living lies. Lies. Furthermore, you have what's called a circadian rhythm. So you're not supposed to be eating past 1030 most ideally is to stop eating around 7 to 9 but your body doesn't break down food after 1030 based on your circadian rhythm so even worse is that you guys are going to eat all this horrible food and you're going to eat it beyond your circadian rhythm or after hours your body is not going to have a chance to detox it or, de or cleanse itself because you got to remember you got to remember fruits go through the bloodstream same day, within a few hours. Vegetables go through the bloodstream, same day to a day. Fish goes through the bloodstream or through the digestive tract inside of two days. And meat goes through the digestive tract three, four, five days. So that means when you eat meat, it stays in your system for three to five days in a form of bacteria just sitting there. It just sits there. That's filthy. And of course, it disturbs or compromises the integrity of your REM sleep, which means that your central nervous system can't send correspondences to your endocrine system, which is the system, the system that's responsible for regulating your hormones or your instructions for how to confront adversity per the next day, the next week, the next month, and the next year, based on your previous day, previous week, previous month, and previous year. So fruits go through the digestive system within hours. Vegetables go through within hours to a day. Fish goes through within inside of two days. And meat takes three, four, five, or even more days to pass through. And that's not to say all the waste comes out the body. That's just most of the garbage so you can consume more garbage. 
Everything after 1030 gets pushed into the small intestine and the colon. The worst parts of what you consume after 1030 because your body clocks out. Your body clocks out. It's real talk. It's real talk. And so when you're looking at the men out of control, can't get into an argument without wanting to kill each other. It's not just these uh, men that were raised in single family households, predominantly consisting of females, which contributes to this notion. But it's also the fact that the diet is responsible for the declination of that which establishes the strong male disposition. The diet is effeminizing black males. We like to talk about being pro-black quite often, but a big part of being pro-black is not consuming foods that the slave master gave to us. A big part and responsibility to being pro-black is about changing your diet, but that takes a lot more discipline than just running your damn mouth. So people like to pump their fists and make historical claims. And that's all right, especially if the historical claims are facts. But let's also incorporate into our black empowerment the way that we eat. This is where we lack the most. You could tell a lot about a person's discipline based on their dietary regimen. Real talk. Real talk. You could tell a lot about a person's discipline based on their dietary regimen. It is easier to talk about history than it is to make a change in your immediate lifestyle with the food and the drinks that you consume. A big part of the revolution is what we put in our mouth. Pause. A big part of the revolution is what we consume. It's the food that got us turned against each other. It's the food that got us dying prematurely. You have a responsibility to the people that love you to eat better so they don't have to bury you in the worst way. Because cancer is a very violent disease. Diabetes is a very violent disease. Okay? Lupus is a violent disease. High blood pressure is a damn violent disease. You got young people having high blood pressure these days. You got a whole new generation of people suffering from diabetes way earlier now. Real talk. Dark green leafy vegetables is one way to boost your testosterone levels. Okay? Consuming a lot of pomegranate juice or just eating pomegranates in itself, which I would rather, that'll help maintain or boost your testosterone levels. These are natural ways. But remember, these foods out here and these drinks, that's why you got to look on your water bottle and see if it's BPA-free, bisphenol A-free. You got to take a look at what's going on here. We're being destroyed by the sugars. We're being destroyed by the estrogen that's in all these estrogen-rich foods. Even if you're getting fortified cereals, you got to check and see if your cereal's fortified. Fortified foods is when they're adding uh, nutrients and vitamins, I should say, to your cereal. If they're adding vitamins to your cereal, then guess what? It's fortified. And if it's fortified, that means it's high in estrogen. So you don't want fortified cereals alongside estrogen-rich milk. Real talk. So, you know, I ain't out here to destroy you guys. Uh, Thanksgiving, I'm out here to enhance your disposition and save your parents. Save your friends, save your family. Because while they gluttonize and they think it's cool to eat all that garbage, they really need to make an adjustment. Because the stuff that we have to go through in old age, just take a look at what people are going through in old age with their arthritis. Look at what people are going through in their old age with their high blood pressure. Look at what people are going through in their old age with their back pains. We think that that comes with old age. None of those ailments have to accompany old age. And, it, and it's goofy now and it's fun to eat whatever you want to eat until cancer's on your ass. Or, is it, or and cancer's on the head of your mom or your father. Then the shit ain't so cool to eat whatever you want to eat. And then guess what? It gets to the point that even if eating can change their life, they still won't change their life because they're addicted to it because the number one drug in America is sugar. 
It's not cocaine crack. Let's call it what it is. Cause cocaine and crack ain't nothing but uh, advanced complex form of sugar. So number, in fact, America went into contemplation through legislation at a time to even see if they was gonna make sugar legal for the masses at one point. That's how dangerous sugar is. Real talk. And if you were to ask people now to diminish the sugar out of their diet, they look at you like you're crazy. So again, despite what people are talking to you about, what makes a man a man and what makes a woman a woman, there are certain scientific references for what establishes a male disposition or a female disposition. And I'm not saying this to go against anybody's sexual preferences. I'm saying this because there's actually an agenda there to promote the declination of male testosterone levels, which should be, according to the old standard, 500 NG over DL. Now they got it down to 350. Our joint should be as high as 650 and 1,000. We should be at 650 up in NGDL. So check your testosterone levels because testosterone is hormones and hormones are instructions. And testosterone gives you instructions to be a man. It gives your body instructions to have a deeper voice. It gives your body instructions to have muscularity. It gives your body instructions to be more aggressive, not passive, not submissive. It gives your body instructions to have more hair on your body than the female counterpart. It gives you instructions that are typically identified as male characteristics. So every year, testosterone levels go down 1%. Every 10 years, we're losing 10%. And now, every decade, they're lowering the standard. And if you do the research, you'll see that they have hormonal therapy. Because whenever men, testosterone levels are too low or too much on a decline... You actually can have hormonal therapy because it's considered something wrong with you as a male. It's not healthy. It's not healthy if you are exhibiting a low testosterone level. But of course, this won't be taught in school and it goes against the agenda because people want you to believe that there's no scientific representation for being a man. They want you to believe there's no scientific representation for being a female. Again, I'm not with the sexual politics. You guys have sex with whoever you want to have sex with. But what I'm telling you is not a coincidence that the testosterone levels are quickly on a decline. It's not a coincidence that all the food on your Thanksgiving table is high in estrogen. It's not a coincidence that the food on your Thanksgiving table is designed to feminize you as a man. This is some real talk. Make sure you share this video. Yeah. High five. Say hi, baby. Say hi. They talking to you. Look. Sleepy. Say hi, baby. Say hi. Say hi. You don't feel like talking? Say hi. Look, they say hi to you. Look, they say hi. <laughs> what are you doing? You got the car? What's she doing? Where are you going? Oh, you wanted the toy. Why you ain't ask me for the toy? Yeah, you should have asked me. I would have given it to you. Be careful. Okay, show, show the people the toy you got. Let's see the toy. Bye bye. Sorry. She in her own world. She ain't trying to hear nothing. <laughs> she, ain't, she ain't trying to hear nothing. She, she's amongst her kind. <laughs> she's amongst her kind. She ain't try to. She ain't try to hear nothing. What's up, baby? You good? Yes. You want your jacket on? You want to take your jacket off, baby? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go with her drip. Look at your drip. They love your drip, baby. They love your drip. Look, at, look how drippy she is. Look how drippy she is. What you looking for? You want some cake? I see you scheming. You get a piece of cake? She's scheming on the cake. Oh, Lola got you? Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. What's up, King? What's up, baby King? Can't call you a prince, you a baby king. Yeah. 
I actually fasted on Thanksgiving, tell you the truth. I came here, I did take a bite of some uh, black rice. Oh, some fancy black rice. And um, that was pretty much it. So a little bite. I fasted. Yeah. I had a little kale salad avocado. Just a bite. I told I was fasting, but I just wanted to show love because they made food. Yeah, I did. 36 hour fast. Yeah, I broke it when I took that bite of fancy black rice. But I assure you, it was just a spoonful. Is there a knife over there? Yeah, they already just packed up the food. Go ahead, get whichever one you want. Okay. Lola, can you, uh, you got, I can show them the black rice, the wild rice? All right, we're going to get the wild rice right now. There she goes. There we go. See, so you don't think I'm front. So that's the fancy black rice. Looks like there's some mushrooms in there. What's in there? Bell peppers. Bell peppers, onions. Onions also boosts the testosterone. Yup. Wow, wow, wow. Got that, got that. Thank you. And they did kill. And all the great food. We don't play no games here. Cause I'm gonna tell you this. Pork right here. It's all about investing. So same way you invest money, same way you want to invest in your health. I'm gonna tell you this. I work. I, I work real hard to get out of poverty and make my bread. But I ain't trying. I ain't looking. To, I ain't gonna say the word try. I ain't looking to be wealthy and unhealthy. I ain't looking to have back problems and arthritis while I got this bag. I want to spend this money and enjoy myself straight into my so-called, into my life. Because right now I'm dying my best death. And one thing that's guaranteed is death. Life is speculative. Like, and if y'all think that's confusing, they always talk about life after death. So if you believe in life after death, that means that this is death and life comes after. So you speculate on the idea that there may be life after this. But this is definitely death. You're dying from the time you come out the womb. It just appears that you're living because you get taller and taller over time. But in actuality, we're dying. The second we're born. All right? So, give this a baby. She just dropped it. Yeah. So, a big part of the strategy can't be to just make money. That's why I always say wealth is health. I don't say health is wealth. I say wealth is health. Because in this world, you're going to be sick if you're poor. Not having bread, you're making me sick. Baby, why would you do that? What are you doing? She thinks it's funny, too. Look at her. You think it's funny? You think it's funny? What are you drinking, Nephi? What you drinking? Was it good? You like it? Yeah. Okay, baby. What did I do? I'm gonna cut this. <laughs> That's how I'm in that head, helping out. Mommily duties. You want what? All day, every day. All days. No breaks. No breaks. No breaks. No breaks. Hey, look at this guy with the attitude. What's that? This? This? What are you talking about? What you want? Oh, make sure she don't drop that bowl. What you said, baby? You like your berries? You like berries? Let me see the berries. Show me a berry. Hey. Blueberry. He don't want the berry. You gotta eat the berry. He ain't into berries right now. He into that, whatever that was over there. He's into that. Show me another berry, baby. Let me see another berry. She said, "This is." She said, "This is a different species of child." Lemonade. Huh? Lemonade. 
Yeah. Lime it. Lime it. Do your thing. You got a cup? What do you say, baby? Please? What she want? What you want, baby? You want this? You want cake? You want juice or cake? Cake? <laughs> sit at the chair safely, okay? You gotta sit down. She's gonna give you cake, okay? All right? You want the cake, right? Thank you. Yeah, be careful. Be careful. What's up, A? You coming out the hoop tomorrow? Yeah, A was about to have a heart attack. They was like, yo, I had enough. <laughs> yo, we played like four or five games straight. Five games straight. A like, yo, P, I'm telling you I'm tired. I'm like, bro, one more game. <laughs> he like, I got you, I got you. They put on his damn slides. <laughs> yo. Yo, Lowe's. He, he, he wanted to get out of there so quickly. That nigga left his sneakers in my damn car. That's because he eats fat niggas. Yeah, you did. That nigga ran from me. He's like, yo, this nigga don't know when to stop. That's because he eats fat niggas. Oh, my God. Yo. He eats fat nigga food, bro. You out here eating fat nigga food? He eats eat unhealthy. With all this knowledge we disseminating? Bro, listen. He, he be like, I be eating the healthy fat people food. He was vegan, and then he, and he deviated. Oh, man. Where we going? Oh, I'm heavy. You're too heavy. Hey, give Los a hug, baby. You're too heavy. Heavy? You're too heavy. Oh, you're so heavy. Uh-huh. What's she got? She loving it. What's she got? She got fruit. Yeah, she loves some berries. She be fruit. She in every color berry she can eat in the house. Ooh. What's that? More that? berries? No. What's that? One Huh? Honey, do? Those are berries. Oh. Blueberries. Yeah. You got berries, baby? Berries and berries. She, she love berries. berries. Your dad love berries, too. <laughs> They're always with the entendres. <laughs> you want to eat these? Hey, give me a berry, baby. Give daddy a berry. You going to give me a berry? Go get one to daddy. I get a berry? Get one to daddy. Give me a berry, baby. Feed him. Give me feed him. Not the whole bowl. <laughs> Give me a berry. Let me feed get a berry. Feed him. Look, she being. Let me see. Here, feed that there. Get daddy a berry. Feed him. Can I have one? You got to give it to him. Come on. Give pick, me a, a, pick one for him. Get a berry. Look. Give me a berry. Yeah. There you go. Give it to dad there. Feed him. Oh. Feed him. Oh. See that? Mm, look at see you. That? Did dad say thank you? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Like it. Welcome. <laughs> I get one more berry. Yeah. Thank you. I get one more berry. You gonna give me one more? Yes. You can give me the whole bowl. Nine thirty. I got them shoes right in the trunk. I said, "Yo, AP ran like hell for me. Ran so fast." He slid out of there in the slides. Yeah, just like this. Slid out of there. Left his shoes smoking. <laughs> he was out of there. Like, yo, this guy don't know when to stop. Like, yo, Paul, I'm tired, Paul. I'm like, son, this is the point in the workout where it's the best when you're tired. Now you got to go ahead. Almost had him, too. Turned around. All I saw was his sneakers left. <laughs> What's my ad doing over there? Big sister, ad, big sister working. <laughs> She's scheming on that. Look at her. She, her eyes are big on that. She doing everything in her power to get it. <laughs> she focused. 
Okay, I'll get another one. Yeah, I like this stuff. We like it. We like it. I like this one myself. Yeah. But last time you made me that one. Vanilla. You made me that, uh, no. like vanilla. Oh my yes. God. Vanilla vegan. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's gonna be lit. Hey, I'm in. I'm in a league where they paying you bread to win. I feel like five five thousand. All right, game on Sunday. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm trying to get you right. Client, we can't be messing up this bread. Yeah, word. I want you to pop, pop out. I'm out there. I was working out and everything today. Make sure I'm, I'm legit. Yeah, yeah. But I do all those runs. So when I play with the refs and do the regulation, it's, it's nothing. I be running. I be running so long. I be running from 9 to 5 on purpose. I be treating it like a job. I be hooping from 9 to 5. So now, boom. And I'm on a tour meniscus, but it's just a good thing. I'm on my vegan energy, so I still can do what I got to do for the most part. The limitations I got, it still keeps me more advanced than these guys. <laughs> hey, peace to the family. We had a great time building. Blessings in abundance. Talk to me nice. Y'all already know. It's been a true blessing. Hey, we gonna let King Lo sign us off. Oh, it's on me? It's Baby King. Baby King. Bricks. Look at Baby King. Can't, peace can't call him a prince. Gotta call him a Baby Say King. Peace to the peace. 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 Peace to you, too. There you go. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, hey, you oh, break dancing? What get you doing? Get it. Get it. Hey, get I like, it, I like the it, pants with the paint on more. Get it. Get it. Get it. Hey, there we go. Get it, get it, get it. Hey, get it, get it. Hey, get it, hey, 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 turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Turn it up. Uh, uh, there we go. That's my favorite move right there. Good job. Good job. That was awesome. Awesome. You my man, you my man, a hundred grand. Awesome. The close out. Look at the finish though. The close out. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Hey, I try to get the whole kitchen lit. I, I was looking to get Los to close it out. He was like, nah, I'm closing I can't it top out. That. <laughs> you ain't, I, ain't, I can't top that. I'm telling you right now. I can't top that. That was like a bag of tricks. Oh, Man, he, did everything. he pulled that out the top hat. He did the whole thing. That was like Nordstrom top rack. <laughs> hey, the paint that he put all over his clothes, I got to cop that. <laughs> You. It's the vibes, man. Hey, you know? hey. No. All right, come on. Today we celebrated no fucks given. <laughs> <laughs> Only those. It's, it's just where we at with it. You know we. You know. We celebrated the. We celebrated uh, the ancestors that survived today. Uh -huh. I don't know. She avoided the paint. Oh, you was a part of that. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. It was her yeah, she is on her artwork. She probably that's probably why I like the pants like that. She probably really yeah, hooked the it up. Was, <laughs> was I like them. I'm, gonna keep I, I'm rocking with them. They, he painted all over his clothes. I'm like, it kind of looked hard they like that. On the canvas too. It's a canvas up there. They just got it everywhere in the process. They, they thought the pants was the canvas. Flosky up. Yeah. It's the vibes, man. It's the vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We feasted, we feasted to death, for sure, for sure. What they talking about? What they talking about in the no, comments? No, no F's given, word, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, they like that. See, that's what you got to start celebrating, man. They, they said... The ancestors that survived, the ones that fought back. That's what somebody, we somebody was saying, you should cut your hair. The other person said, no, let him grow his antennas. Oh, yeah. That's I did. Vibe. No, I actually did cut my hair, though. Yeah. I cut it. It looked fly. I cut it, and it's shorter, so I'm, waiting, I'm letting it grow back out. 
Looks good though. Yeah, yeah, the gray yeah. Gray-haired goat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Gray-haired goat, man. I should put them up like this, for real, for real. Yeah, spook I, these niggas out. Should have, yeah, <laughs> Get some jam. Out. Put the horns on them. <laughs> yeah, no, my next, my no, my next joint. I'm, I'm gonna have the horns up on you niggas, for real. I'm rocking with it, for real. <laughs> Baphomet energy. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all go to church and let that nigga lie to you. I can wear my horns up. It's all good. It's all love, baby. Don't be afraid of me. Hey, Why they, you being weird to me? They'll be spooked out for hey, real. I dropped my phone seven times. They'd be like, he was hanging out with Puffy. I told you he's Illuminati. Oh, that's it. The battle rap industry, we all crazy. Man, what? I'm illuminated. We had a feast today. They guess. We had a feast today. Do that shit. DC and B more in the building. Oh, yeah. Lola DC. <laughs> DC, yeah. Uptown, oh, hold on, is it Uptown? Uptown, uptown what, okay, oh, uptown. Up uptown. I don't want to call the wrong setup. She get the banging on me. <laughs> I hear that. Hey, P, we got Baton Rouge in the building. Baton Rouge. Okay. You ever met a nigga from Baton Rouge? <laughs> BR in the building. Why? How, how you survive? Why? Why? What's down? Hey, we got a Baltimore survivor. Uh, uptown. DC survivor, we got a Baton Rouge survivor. She survived Brownsville. She don't re even recall it. You know what I'm saying? We got her out of there. It was a before. mere facet of your memory. She don't care about none of that but that right there. Look at her. I see all of that. I see y'all back in the day. Mm -hmm. Out there on them streets, boy. Did you have enough cake? I said, look at all of that in the background. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Cole was dropping some dropping some knowledge on the street in a heated debate, and she, oh. she was in the background like, mm, yeah. <laughs> I said, look at all of that. Oh my god. This had to been like, man, well over like 15, 16 years ago. Yeah, she's fifteen. Wow. She's fifteen. Yeah. Damn, you're fifteen. I know. She's old. You're 15. <laughs> My goodness, you're a young adult. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> it seems like you're not waiting for if I'm ready or not. <laughs> <laughs> ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. Did you have enough cake, Matt? She was old then. I like, can't get a piece. Can't get another piece. Can't get a piece of that one. Can't get that one. Right. She's like, we don't really be doing cake. I'm going crazy at Uncle Lowe's crib. My children come over here and go crazy. Nephew stuck to the script with the berries. Hey, would, would it be a super saiyan if I said she ate the cake like anime? Because see, super saiyan is from anime. I get you. But then anime ate the cake. And I may eat the cake as well. <laughs> so is that a super saiyan? It's a super saiyan. Okay. Okay. Ho. Ho. Get him. Get him. He just interpreted it like, yo. Get him. Get him. Not just Not What you gonna do to me? Hold on, he's scratching himself? Yeah, he's scratching himself. He's tired. I see it. I yeah. know he's tired. I don't it's, even know why he's still up calling yeah, shots. It's definitely past my baby girl, so they be in right, bed around right, 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 right. 9 o'clock. Hey, oh, my bad. Well, we had to check Uncle King. I ain't never huh? seen no baby that pleasant in my life. <laughs> and yeah, you better say hi, boy. Right. Everybody She's playing with you. Sweet and just. Whoa! I ain't gonna lie though, it do remind me of Bricks. <laughs> Bricks never cried. He always was happy, happy, happy. And he was he was making jokes ever since he was young. <laughs> he was a comedian ever since he was ever since he was a baby. <laughs> but Bricks was always Bricks ain't never cried. You said you drinking, baby. <laughs> Yeah. Water. Water. Yeah. You good? He There's more lime in here, you know? Can't wait till yeah. Hey, Lola, where's the lime? Where's the lime? All right, all right. Yeah. 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 Ye
Pull myself. That's it. All right. I thought he was about to spit some bars. As you should. Who's that? Grind 365. Said he thought he was about to spit bars. Thank you, brother. Oh. When, when is King Lowe's next battle? Uh. It's a good question. None of none of my battles have been battles. <laughs> it was this. When's his next speaking engagement? <laughs> right, uh, right, uh, right. right. He be talking to him. It was a, it was a speaking engagement. It was more like aggressive spoken word. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to see. I ain't, I ain't gonna mess with none of that. I'm gonna drink my water. Where my water at? I think the herbs. I got some cayenne. Probably subsided. The herb drama. I think I. I think don't I talk. made it. Don't speak. Don't speak. Don't speak. I, don't speak. Yeah. But you don't know you've been in the same spot, so. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I don't want to move my abdomen. I'm trying to just. Like, yo, I've been taking these that herbs. Nigga, that nigga gonna get up it got and leave, be his, crazy. leave his abdomen in the I got chair. here at 8. Dude, I've been attempting to get here since 2.30. But every time I went to the car, I'm like, yo, got to use the bathroom. And then after a while, I tapped out till 5. Went back. Back down again. <laughs> That's Damn. Funny. That's funny. Yeah. Made it around the block and drove right back around. Like, nah, I'm not gonna make it. My boy D finally boy made D it. Going crazy, bro. Oh yeah, I ain't D in a minute. Blessings in abundance. He be going nuts. He be going nuts. This is the family. Oh, see, already down here.